In spite of the rapid growth of civilization and advanced technology, an unhealthy diet and lifestyle have contributed to many diseases of modern civilization that directly or indirectly threaten human life. Therefore, man has started to be aware of the importance of maintaining health and is willing to pay more for various health products and equipment. However, how many of us seriously consider bone health? The increase of osteoporosis among the young has become good proof of this. Let's take a look at the structure of the human body. Bones give support to the whole structure of the human body and at the same time protects our body organs and nervous system. Human bones are very solid. Its density is four times greater than stainless steel of the same size. Our body is made up of 206 pieces of bones. Each bone consists of 70% collagen, calcium and phosphorus. In other words, one quarter of our body weight is made up of bones. A healthy bone structure equals to a healthy spinal cord with healthy cartilage. Injury to the vertebrae would affect our nervous system. Some common symptoms are headaches, body aches, back aches, numbness and uneasiness. While some chronic symptoms include severe arthritis and paralysis. In general, the skull protects our brain, while the spinal cord protects our nervous system. What protects our bones? Yes, it is cartilage that protects our bones. However, our bone density decreases gradually after the age of 30. So, how serious is the bone problem? In today's world, we can see many news articles reported about bone problems. For example, 400,000 women suffer from osteoporosis. Osteoporosis causes Malaysian bone fractures to increase. Women's knees wear and tear faster. Irregular menstrual cycles affects bone structure. Bone fracture caused by osteoporosis is also on the increase. Osteoporosis, Singaporeans' bones easily fracture. Osteoporosis, alarming bone diseases. According to statistics of the world's population that suffer from arthritis, there are 39 million in Europe, 16 million in USA and 200 million in Asia. Overall, there is a total of 400 million worldwide. As for the annual expenses spent on arthritis treatment, Germany has used up 800 million euro, USA 33 billion dollars. Overall, 60 billion dollars has been used worldwide. Significantly, osteoporosis has become one of the world's problems. The World Health Organization has marked the years 2000 to 2010 as the bone and joint decade. With the unity of world power, together we will defeat the bone problem. A medical report, as stated in the Sinchu Jitpo, dated 27 February 2004, claimed that every day our bones and joints experience wear and tear. Why do we say this? Let's look at some interesting facts. The impact on the knees of a man weighing 70 kilograms can be classified into four of the following conditions. When we walk, the impact on our knees will be two times heavier than our weight, that is, 140 kilograms. When we climb up the stairs, the impact will become four times heavier and will increase to a staggering 280 kilograms. When we play games or exercise, the impact on our knees will be six times heavier than our body weight, that is, approximately 420 kilograms. When we squat, the impact on our knees will be as high as 560 kilograms, which is about eight times our body weight. Therefore, each movement can cause injury to our bones and joints. Regardless of age, some symptoms of early bone and joint problems that are noticeable include joints and body pain, strain when carrying heavy weight, stiffness and numbness after prolonged inactivity, as well as the sound of bones cracking or rubbing whilst bending or flexing. According to a stunning discovery by the Singapore National Arthritis Foundation, while people between ages of 15 and 65 suffer from arthritis, 
any six-month-old infant could possibly suffer from arthritis. Why is man's bones in the modern age weaker than that of man's in the Stone Age? This can be compared with the availability of various toothpastes and high-tech toothbrushes in the modern age that could not be found in the Stone Age that could cause decay. It is also due to unhealthy food such as rice, noodles, meat, cereal, fats, liquor, soft drinks and sugar that causes acidity. Bone marrow will continuously release alkaline calcium ions to neutralize the body's acidity. Excessive release of calcium ions will affect bone density and result in severe health problems like osteoporosis and arthritis. Why are we still lacking calcium even though we take continuous calcium supplementation? This is due to the lack of collagen type 2. For example, if calcium acts like sand, collagen will act like cement. Our bones require 80% collagen to prevent the loss of calcium. A building will collapse if the cement is not firm enough and our body will face many problems if our bones are not strong enough. In conclusion, collagen is able to handle internal and external factors.